Hi guys, today we're going to be taking a look at the new venture, New Suf. Uh, this is based on the uh, Peugeot Partner, but it could also be based on the uh, Citroen Blingo. Um, it's a second hand vehicle, but a brand new conversion, coach built body. Uh, I'll take, a, take it for a walk around. You see you've got the fiberglass front end there, it gives a, a really nice shape to the vehicle. Um, moving a bit further back, we've got the sights, windows, blinds and fly screens built in them. Hartle doors, uh, fuel cap there. Gas locker door at the back. Moving round, another sights window, fridge vents and water filler, really nice moulded back on this one. And moving round to the other side, uh, we've got the, uh, the toilet exit door there and uh, a couple more windows and the main zoo cup point. As you can see we've got a, a wastewater drain off down there. Walk round and we'll have a, a look in the cab area now. It's a two berth conversion, uh, only two travelling seats which are in the cab area. Uh, we've got uh, both cab seats nicely upholstered, really brightens up uh, the dashboard side of it. Okay, we'll have a look around the back now. This one, uh, 63 plate, I think there's 22,000 miles on the clock on this one. Uh, I believe they come with a 1.6 turbo diesel engine. Now you might think that's a bit underpowered, but believe me, it's not. Uh, they've taken over from the uh, the two-litre engines, and uh, they're more than adequate to carry the uh, the load. And we've got bins uh, and a lot more lines on the back of the door. Electric step for getting in and out, and that retracts as well once the ignition comes on on the uh, on the cab. So the first thing that you're met with here is you've got uh, hob and uh, grill, and you've got the uh, three-way fridge there along with uh, the sink and drainer. So a decent sized uh, kitchen area for a small vehicle. Uh, plenty of storage as well. Come space in there. Cut my drawer. I've got a bit more space down here as well. Some gas taps, isolation taps down there as well. Uh, this you'll notice uh, is where the, uh, the gas compartment is. Uh, above there we've got uh, Top lockers, plenty of room again, lots of storage, and above that, a uh, nice, uh, nice big skylight there, a light over the top as well. We've got 12 volt and 240 sockets, and I'll, uh, let's put the sergeant system on. Okay, so again, we've got the LED lighting, strip lighting under there. Just a little switch there if you want to turn that off, isolation switches. Um, immediately at the side of that, we've got the toilet compartment. Again, LED lighting. It's, uh, it's like a fully sealed wet room, really, even though there's no shower in. All this is, is waterproof, you know. Uh, this particular model, they wanted um, a TV aerial, and it had to be mounted in this, this, this corner here. But it doesn't get in the way. Um, we've got the tip-up sink, which you're probably all familiar with. Toilet area. It's the brand new toilet. This is a new shape one. Sights, window with blinds on. And at the back here, we have the wardrobe. At the back, some more coat hanger spaces here. A few coats and things like that. It's a decent sized room. Now then, I'll turn round, and you're met with uh, the lounge area. You've got two big uh, bench style seats uh, going across. Uh, that makes six foot and you can also on the end of here I'll show you them later you can make uh, flaps and you can sleep it as two singles as well rather than one double so you've got you have got that option um, we've got some really nice big sights windows in there let's lots of light in feels really roomy uh, again we've got top lockers all the way around I'll show you in all of these a lot of space over the cab area here, table storage and extra cushions and things in there. But it is there's quite a lot of room up up over the cab. More storage. And again, that's the booster there for the TV room that you saw. Uh, we've got a nice big um, uh, hickey roof vent up there. Again, letting lots of light in. More LED lighting. Now, if you're familiar with the channel, you'll notice that uh, we already have a video for a but that's one of the older ones. 
this is the new shape stuff that we do at the moment. Um, so if you, you want to take a look at that one and then come back to this, you'll see the difference. This is a side door, uh, whereas the other one was a, was a rear door. But um, I'll take the cushions up and I'll show you under the beds now. Okay, so we've got the cushions removed. Uh, a bit easier to show you how the bed makes up. Literally just pulls across, hooks in, and that makes up uh, the double bed if you want the double. Again, there's flaps at the either end. You've got to push the seats forward, and the flaps come up and make two singles. Um, but if you've seen the other videos, you know it's the same system we use on all of them. Really easy, uh, straightforward to do. Um, these are hinged up. Uh, like I get, like I said again, you've got plenty of storage under the beds. And to the other side. Um, again, there is some things in here, but it, there's plenty of storage. Obviously, you've got your water pump your battery and uh, the surgeon uh, system there at the back. Um, there isn't a blown air heater in this particular model because the customer didn't request it. Uh, but you can have uh, blown air heater in this one, um, which again is, a, is an option. Um, I'll show you the outside now. You notice at the back here there's a little uh, entrance point there. That's for uh, a jack leg to come down to give you some support. It'll stop uh, any shaking of the vehicle when you're stepping in at the back and then with the gas compartment let's focus in on that uh, again there's plenty of room in here uh, proper trimmer gas regulator um, and let's say there's enough uh, probably enough room to get two bottles in there as it is seven kilogram ones as well uh, I'll just quickly show you underneath got the, uh, the fresh water drain off there and again we've got onboard water tanks uh, we've got the, uh, the fresh one there in the middle and we've got a waste one to the side so you've got fresh and waste water tanks on there um, again thank you very much for watching if you've got any questions about anything you've seen or you want any prices on anything uh, just let us know and we'll get back to you as soon as possible thank you very much bye bye